Hey everyone, Technoment here with the video for you guys. Now, if you're missing the send later feature or the option on your iPhone on iOS 18, you want to follow these steps to get that option. So let's get started. So if you update it to iOS 18, which is the first requirement, and you go to any message contact and click on that plus icon, you can now schedule your text messages simply by clicking on send later. And then you have the option to click tap over here and then schedule your text messages. Write something like this. Right, and then I can send, click on send, and you see a dotted blue line which allows you to use a feature known as scheduling text message. And you can click on edit option here to edit the time again, or you can delete the message or send it anyway. So that's how you can do it. If you're missing this feature, you wanna follow these steps. Since I am missing on this phone, I'll show you on this one where I tap on it, and I look at my contact and I tap on this, I don't see that send a later option if even though I click on more it's not available so then you want to follow these steps of course like I said update your phone to iOS 18 if you haven't simply go into your settings general and then software update so you have to be updated on iOS uh, 18 actually not 17 of uh, so once you're updated to iOS 18 this is the steps you want to follow to troubleshoot put your phone pull down a control menu put it on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off as well. That is a quick network refresh and go ahead and see if you can do it as well. Now, if you see it that you can't send it to one contact, try a different contact from your list. Try to send a message to someone else. See that one. Now, there are cases where it's supposed to work on Android devices, but some people are saying it's not working then. So I would recommend just first testing it out with a contact that you know has an iPhone or iPhone user and see if that is working for you. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to make sure that your phone has internet connection either through Wi-Fi or cellular data. I find cellular data and Wi-Fi in combination will work the best because you need to be online in order to schedule text messaging. Along with that, the next setting troubleshooting you want to do is go into your settings and then scroll down until to apps. And then you're going to this time go to uh, messages and then ensure that this focus mode is turned on. So first thing is turn that on go back and then check out by closing out the messages app, reopening it and see if you can get that option available. Now, if you still don't see it, the next thing to do is again, click on messages, turn off iMessage and then close out this and then you're gonna follow the step. You're gonna quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down and then I hold on to the side button and we're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears on your screen. This is basically force restarting the software on the phone. This will not delete any of your data. So as you can see here, I wait till the Apple logo appears before I let go of it again. All I did is quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. Now, if it doesn't work the very first time, you might need to go ahead and retry it again. Sometimes if you takes a few tries to get the hang of this method. So again, simply volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. Again, same method to do, and it's one of the troubleshooting steps Apple recommends to do. And once you're back on your phone, go into your setting, again, go down to the app section, and then from there on, you're gonna go to messages, and then turn back on that iMessage, and then go back, click on messages again, ensure it signs you back in, make sure you have the send and receive there and your contact info, and then make sure that focus mode is turned on again. And from there on, go ahead and check if your send later now works. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing to do is in your settings, you're gonna go to general, scroll down where it says uh, transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and we're gonna wanna do a network reset. What a network reset does is basically it resets your network connectivity, things like saved Wi-Fi, password, any uh, Bluetooth connected devices. You have to reconnect them, but usually when it comes to iMessages, if you have an issue with the network connectivity, it will cause things like send later not to work correctly. And now after you have done that, you still don't see it. What I recommend is looking for the next update as this feature is very new. Some people for some reason aren't getting it on their devices, some are. I had a couple devices where I saw that it was there, then it went away. There is an update that Apple recently released for some bug fixes. So in your settings, go to general, software update, and check if there's an update available besides that iOS 18.0. There's an 18.1 as well. 
that addresses a lot of these fixes, especially as you can see here, the messages app uh, not working correctly. So go ahead and update your phone to that. And if even after, if it didn't work after the update, you may have to wait for the next update as this feature. Again, I find it frustrating. It's still a little bit shaky on some of the uh, phones here. Even if you have an iPhone, you know, the newer iPhones with iOS 18, it doesn't seem to work correctly. So we'll see what happens with it. And if we do get more troubleshooting steps, if this didn't work for you, we'll let you guys know. And I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found another way to fix it for yourself, do share it in the comment section. We'll see you guys the next time.